So today we're going to be talking about the simplest methods to type pinion on Windows or Mac. Okay, so go ahead and open Spotlight. You can press Command Space or you can click on the search bar at the top. Type in keyboard and hit enter. It's going to bring up the keyboard preferences. From here navigate to input sources and click that plus sign. Okay, and we'll just type ABC. This is going to bring us the ABC extended keyboard. And this is basically what it says it is. It's a traditional Roman alphabet with a few extras. So you can see here we've got show input sources in menu bar. Make sure that's ticked because it will allow you to see which language you actually have selected up in the top. What we've actually set up now is the ability to swap between these two keyboards. So now I'm in ABC extended. This is cool, but a little bit inefficient when you're typing and you just want to quickly swap from a normal keyboard to pinion. So we'll, we'll come across and we'll jump into shortcuts from here into input sources. And I just want to make sure both of these are ticked so I can show you guys how to use it. What it's going to do is set up shortcuts for these different keys here. So if I just demonstrate quickly, pressing control, option and space is going to swap between the different keyboard selections so you can see in the top right it's just going to quickly flick between them abc extended and the usual keyboard the other way is to press control and space which will bring up the selection in the middle of your screen and you can see exactly which keyboard you're selecting okay let's just open text editor and i can show you how to type the tones so we've got the first tone second tone third tone fourth tone there we go but no letters obviously uh, so the first time you want to go to type these, it's going to seem a bit unnatural. But, you know, you just keep practicing, uh, keep typing pinion, and soon it will become very second nature. So this video was made to complement interactive subtitles, which is a new way of learning Chinese that we've developed based on my own experiences in making films on this channel. Decided to take the uh, railway. So by watching and interacting with YouTube videos, you'll be able to improve your reading, writing, listening, and even speaking. If you're subscribed, you can hit the bell notification or you can join our email club using the link down below. That way you'll be told exactly when these interactive subtotals are released. So the first tone is option and A. And the way that it works is you press this first, option and A, and it will kind of prepare the tone on the screen. If you press nothing, if you just press the space bar at this point, it's gonna type the tone exactly as you saw me type it at first on this screen. If you want to type a letter, you simply press the letter afterwards, and I'll show you how that works in a sec. But first, let's go through the shortcuts for each tone. So option A is first tone, which makes sense because A is the first letter in the alphabet. Easy to remember. Option E for second tone may sound a bit strange at first, but if you think about how we're usually taught vowels, A, E, I, O, U, then E is the second vowel. So second tone, second vowel. Uh, you can see we've also got U on the screen here, the U with the umla over the top, the two dots. Uh, we'll get to that later. That one's uh, a little bit different. Okay, and V, option plus V will give you third tone, which is super easy because it just looks like the third tone. It's falling, rising. And fourth tone is pretty simple. It's option and a kind of backwards apostrophe, which is in the bottom left hand corner of your keyboard. So let's see how this works. First, we'll prepare the tone. So option and A gives me the first tone, the flat tone. And this is the point I was talking about before. And unless you do anything else, it's just going to stay in this state. So if I press A, cool. I've got an A with the first tone over the top. Option E the second tone because it's the second vowel it's going to show me that tone on the screen and then as soon as I press a letter E it's going to put it over the top and yeah you can see if we swap here the first tone plus E is going to give us an E with the tone over the top so pretty simple really okay so let's look at U a second U is pretty simple you press option and U and instead of preparing the tone like it usually would this types a U with an umlaut the two dots over the top if we want to type a tone over the U, it's the same principle. So we press option A to bring up the first tone. And instead of pressing U, because that would put a first tone over the letter U, not U, you type V. And why V? I mean, it's kind of strange at first, but then you realize that there's no V in pinion and it kind of makes sense. It just gets completely swapped out. 
So in this case, I press Option A to prepare the tone, and then afterwards, I press V to type the umlaut. And it works the same for all the others as you'd expect. You can use the same option and E, option and V, option and a backwards apostrophe, um, and then you can press V and it's going to give you that U with an umlaut. Another handy tip for when you're typing pinion is that the tone always goes over the first letter in the A, E, I, O, U, U sequence. So whenever there's an A in a syllable in pinion in Chinese, the tone is going to go over the A because it's the first in that sequence. If you are interested in those interactive subtitles, don't forget to turn on the bell notification or go over and subscribe to our email so you're the first person to know. Okay, thanks. See ya.